You may think that I know too much, but now it's never too much. Because when push comes to shove, girl, just trust I won't get sick of us. Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm finally back with another software engineer video. As some of you know, I quit my software engineer job in Switzerland to be able to travel and since then I've been living on the beautiful island of Mallorca. You can follow my journey here on YouTube or on my Instagram where I'm sharing some more personal experiences. Working location independently has always been one of my biggest dreams and today I'm taking you along on my job search. I will also give you some tips on finding a software engineer job in general, as well as show you where you can find remote work specifically. So without further, further blah, 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 blah. so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Today I'm doing my job search from my favorite coffee shop. It's a nice change of scenery and it makes me feel more productive. The first thing I do before anything else is updating my CV. I make sure I have all my work experience and past jobs or internships listed and I include all the new skills I have gained during my last job. An important thing to remember is to keep your CV short. Include all important information, but make sure it fits on one page. Since companies most likely receive a ton of CVs, I like mine to stand out from the crowd by using an appealing design. A free and easy way to do this is through Canva. It's a graphic design platform that lets you create all sorts of visual content. Simply open canva.com in your browser and type in CV in the search box. You will be presented with hundreds of beautiful CV templates. You can further specify that you only want to see templates you don't have to pay for and then that's it. There are so many designs I like, it usually takes me a while to decide which one to choose. Once you have found the perfect template, you can customize it to your needs. Basically, you can change every single element of the template. Let's change the name and profession by clicking in the text field and adding your personal information. If you need more or less space, you can change the size of the text elements. It lets you update your contact information and education and swap the existing picture with one of yours. When you're happy with what the CV looks like, press the download button and you will be presented with a couple options. I usually like to have a PDF version of my CV just because the cover letters I send are PDF as well. I recommend choosing the PDF print option since the resolution is higher than with the standard PDF version. Once you downloaded the file, make sure you like the way it looks and scan it for any typos. Then you're good to go and it's ready to be sent. Once I finished my CV, it was time to apply for some jobs. Since I'm specifically interested in location independent jobs, I've been using the following websites to search for open positions. The first one is WeWorkRemotely.com. They sort the job postings in different categories such as full stack or backend programming jobs. I had previously been searching for blockchain job opportunities, that's why all the search results are related to blockchain. But let's change it up and look for JavaScript job postings. By the way, I will put the link to all the websites mentioned in the description box of this video. Since we're looking for remote jobs specifically, we'll change the location to anywhere. As you can see, there's a lot of opportunities showing up, so let's have a closer look at one of the job postings. They're looking for a JavaScript engineer working from anywhere, which is exactly what we want. You can find some information on the company as well as more specific details on the job and then apply directly for the position. The second website I want to show you is remoteok.io. I really like their design, this website makes looking for a job a lot more fun. Let's choose software development as the general category and then we also want to be a bit more specific and choose Java as a keyword. As you can see we get more than 100 search results so let's add another filter to search for backend jobs. The jobs that say verified in green are posted from a trustworthy source which is always good to know. 
All the positions have some more keywords next to them so you instantly know what kind of tasks or technologies are part of the job. Plus, you get to see where the jobs are located. Let's have a look at one of them to see how this website is structured. Once you click on a position, more detailed information will pop up and just like with the first site, you can apply for the job directly. The third website I want to mention is AngelList. This website claims to be the number one startup hiring platform, so most of the jobs posted there are positions in a startup. If you're looking to get some startup job experience, you're definitely right here. I'm not going into detail with this site, but you can click the link in the description box and explore it yourself. The fourth and last website I want to show you is Jobspresso. This is a website for remote work postings only. Let's give it a try and look for full-time positions worldwide by choosing the appropriate selections in the search box. We'll be looking for JavaScript jobs again to have a look at what they offer. As you can see, there's a lot of search results and most of the job postings are suitable for developers who wish to work from anywhere. After sending out a couple applications, I went for a nice little snack with one of my friends. In the afternoon, I continue to prepare for upcoming interviews. I like to broaden my existing knowledge and revise the core concepts of the programming languages and frameworks I already use, and so today I decided to continue following a Udemy course on Spring. This video is not sponsored, I just genuinely enjoy using this platform and that's why I mention it. I can highly recommend you checking out their courses, you can get them for pretty cheap and they're a great way to expand your knowledge when it comes to software engineering. After a whole day of job search, I went to the beach with my friends, we watched the sunset and then ordered pizza. It was such a great way to end the day. Thanks a lot for watching this video and see you guys soon, bye!